Hello, my name is Chip Thompson and welcome to a brand new series on FIFA 20. This is what I'm calling the Ultimate Survival Challenge. It's a bit of a fancy name, but it goes like this. So I'm not what you'd call um, good at FIFA. Um, actually, I'm kind of shit. Uh, so whenever I've done a career mode in the past, in previous games, I've usually stuck to professional difficulty. Anything higher than that and I just kind of struggle and get annoyed and uh, controllers get thrown. Um, and normally when you see a FIFA career mode on YouTube, you see people sort of challenging for titles at the top of the league, they're going for trophies and all that sort of thing. So I thought it'd be different and see what a relegation battle could look like in this game. Um, so for this career mode and uh, this series, um, I've been extra special and ramped up the difficulty to world class. That's right, the one above professional. Um, and I wanted to select one of the newly promoted teams as they're likely to have kind of one of the weaker squads in the league, uh, in the Premier League that is, and I've gone for Norwich City. Um, I don't think they're necessarily the weakest of the bunch, but they've got a team that's quite young, especially in defence, and I thought that could be quite fun to play as, and that is why we've gone with them. So I'm not going to be doing any sort of financial takeover or anything like that, everything with Norwich is, is as it was at the start of the game. Um, but I did make a couple of signings. Basically, I ended up raiding Chelsea. Um, I got Mason Mount in coming in on loan on a year's deal. And then on permanent deals, we signed Rubens Loftus Cheek and Tamori. Um, so this is kind of before Lampard kind of realised that, hey, these guys are quite good. Maybe we should keep them and they'll do well in the team. So nope, nope. They are now Norwich City players. So yeah, that's pretty much the challenge, and um, we're going to see how things go. If EA have nerfed World Class somewhat this year and made it a little easier than it has been for me anyway previously, um, I will up the difficulty and go up to uh, the next stage. Um, but we're going to stick with World Class for the start and just see how things go. And for our first game of the season in this Ultimate Survival Challenge, we've got a nice easy one going up against European Champions Liverpool. <laughs> this will go well. You see here, this is the team the formation we're going to go for. It's a very young back four. I think there's no one older than 21 in that. So we're definitely going to go with the kids to see what happens. And Liverpool seem to think we're going to be easy pickings because they seem to have just played their youth team. Is that a thing that happens? Do they just disrespect us that much? That's what they're going to do? Cheeky twats. Kick off then in our first game in this ultimate survival challenge. <laughs> Hopefully we uh, avoid any sort of pasting on the first day. Our young left-back Lewis makes a great sliding challenge on Salah and from the resulting corner, Firmino goes close to scoring with a header and that is an early warning sign. Liverpool get another chance to take the lead when not Harry Kane drives one just past the post on his left foot. And just when it looks like Liverpool are going to dominate the entire game, Mount plays a wonderful pass through to Pukki who is onside somehow, takes the early shot and fires us into the lead at Anfield. I thought he was offside, I'm not going to lie, but nope, flag stays down and we are ahead. Did not see this coming. We don't stay in front for long though, has uh, Salah weaves into the box, plays the ball in and our own centre-back Godfrey gets the slightest of touches and knocks it into the back of the net to level things up. Now, oh well, it was nice to be winning the game for a little bit. Liverpool had been putting us under more pressure since they scored, but we get the chance to counter when Mount picks up the ball. Loftus-Cheek drives up the defence and he easily slips the ball into Mount's pass, who scores! We're back in front! And to be honest, that was one of the simplest goals I think I've ever scored in FIFA. There's just no challenge, nothing. There's nothing from the Liverpool defence. They just allow Loftus-Cheek to come forward, slip the ball in, and mount with an easy finish. We're 2-1 up at Anfield. Lewis makes a slightly late challenge and takes a yellow card. Thankfully for us, the resulting free kick is shocking. Somehow, Liverpool managed to give Mount acres of space again, and with a little flick, he smashes one against the post from outside the box. What a goal that would have been. And, to my surprise, we go into the half-time break 2-1 up. The first real chance of the second half comes when Roberts breaks down the left-hand side and lays it into that man Mount again, who only bloody goes on to score. We are 3-1 up against Liverpool, and alright, they're playing their kids for some reason, but bloody get in. And that's how the game finished. Uh, there was very little to show you in the second half. Liverpool didn't bring on any of their big guns apart from Mane with just 10 minutes to go, but we take the three points from the opening day of the season. I have no idea why the AI decided to play such a weakened team. I mean, obviously, yeah, on paper, we're not the better side, but to put that many youngsters out, it's cost them. It's absolutely cost them. Um, hopefully that's not a bug or anything, because it'd be a shame to see all the big teams not put their best players out against us. Although secretly, I would be very glad. Either way, the battle for survival begins with the win. The stats show it was a fairly even game in the end, with Liverpool managing just one shot on target. And in the press conference after the game, I get to be quite smug about everything. 
Right, let's move on then. Our first home game of the season is against potential fellow strugglers, Newcastle United. So this could be an early six-pointer. Newcastle try their best to confuse us by playing two players called Longstaff in central midfield. And we're off. And I'm going to warn you now that this game is duller than dishwater that just finished cleaning the dullest dishes you could imagine. Pookie goes close, but just can't get a toe on the ball. Newcastle managed to fashion a decent opportunity and should probably have done better with this. Hernandez sticks in a decent enough cross only for Roberts to head, yeah, fairly well over. And even I'm praying for a more interesting game on the sidelines. And thus ends the least interesting half of football ever. Let's hope the second period is more interesting so we don't, you know, die. Look at those stats. I spent a lifetime trying to work out the new free kick mechanics and quickly realised I need a lot more practice. Then, something exciting happens. Mount is hauled down in the box and we get a penalty. Plus, Newcastle receive a red card. OMG, this game may just get interesting. Then I spend a lifetime trying to work out the new penalty mechanics and realise I need a lot more practice. It remains nil-nil. Now Newcastle are down to 10 men, we actually start to make some chances with Hernandez running through only to shoot straight at the goalkeeper. Well, I say we started to make chances, we didn't have anything until the 80th minute when Loftus-Cheek narrowly put his shot just over the bar, agonisingly close. And then, just when this boring game threatens to end goalless, a cross comes in and falls to Stiperman and he heads wide! And I have no idea how he hasn't scored this, what a chance! And there we have it, one of the worst games ever. A game I'm pretty sure should be illegal for how boring it was. But hey, we're two games unbeaten, and I guess that isn't too shabby. Oh my god, two shots on target for the entire game. Wow. I think my face in the press conference after says it all. Well that's going to do it for the first episode. Uh, a bit of a mixed bag really, like a really good win to start, and then there's just that bore draw with Newcastle. But hey, if the goal is to survive this season, we've not made a bad start be interesting to see how this continues on World Class. I'm going to keep it going on World Class for a little bit. The Liverpool game wasn't much of a test, obviously, because they played the kids. Newcastle Green was just kind of terrible, so, you know, it could be a really boring series, but you're looking forward to that. Um, and if you want to see more boring nil-nil draws, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time for Episode 2.